Pelmini, Wikipedia article audio. Pelmini, Russian, plural, Russian pronunciation, singular are dumplings of Russian cuisine which consist of a filling wrapped in thin, unleavened dough. Ingredients Origin and history Differences Regional differences The dough is made from flour and water, sometimes adding a small portion of eggs. The filling can be minced meat, or fish. The mixing together of different kinds of meat is also popular. The traditional Udmurt recipe requires a mixture of 45% beef, 35% mutton, and 20% pork. Various spices, such as black pepper and diced onions as well as garlic, are mixed into the filling. The word pelmini is derived from pelun and literally ear bread in the native Finno-Ugric Komi and Udmurt languages. It is unclear when pelmini entered the cuisines of the indigenous Siberian people and when they first appeared in Russian cuisine. One theory suggests pelmini, or stuffed boiled dumplings in general, originated in Siberia, possibly a simplified adaptation of the Chinese wonton. Another theory suggests that pelmini were carried by the Mongols to Siberia and the Urals, from where they gradually spread as far as Eastern Europe. Pelmini are particularly good means of quickly preserving meat during long Siberian winter, especially eliminating the need to feed livestock during the long winter months. Pelmini belong to the family of dumplings, and are related to Ukrainian Varenaki and Polish pierogi. In the United States and Canada, the term pierogi or pierogies is often used to describe all kinds of Eastern European dumplings, regardless of the shape, size, or filling. Pelmini are also similar to Mongolian banh, Chinese jiaozi or Chinese hundun. They are cousins to the Turkish and Kazakh manti, the Nepalese and Tibetan momo, the Uzbek chukvara, the Korean mandu, and the Japanese gyoza and Italian ravioli. The most important difference between pelmini, veraniki, and pierogi is the thickness of the dough shell in pelmini and veraniki this is as thin as possible, and the proportion of filling to dough is usually higher. Pelmini are never served with a sweet filling, which distinguishes them from veraniki and Polish pierogi, which sometimes are. Also, the fillings in pelmini are usually raw, while the fillings of verniki and pierogi are typically pre-cooked. The main difference between pelmini and momos is their size. A typical pelmini is about 2 to 3 cm in diameter, whereas momos are often at least twice that size. In Siberia, Pelmini are traditionally frozen outdoors in the winter and treated as preserved food. Hunters or explorers heading into the taiga would carry sacks of frozen pelmini with their provisions as easily cooked, non-perishable food. Pelmini can be stored frozen for a long time and they are prepared immediately before eating by boiling in salted water until they float, and then two to five minutes more. Regional differences exist in the boiling of pelmini. In the Urals, they are always boiled in water, while in Siberia they are boiled in salted water or sometimes meat or chicken broth. The cooked pelmini are served on their own or topped with melted butter or smetana. Mustard, horseradish, tomato sauce, and vinegar are popular, as well. The Russian emigre community in Australia, most of whom originally travelled through China, generally adds soy sauce, as do the people of the Russian Far East. Some recipes suggest frying pelmini after boiling until they turn golden brown. Pelmini can also be served in a clear soup, although in Siberia this is considered in poor taste and pelmini are carefully strained before serving. In Tatar cuisine, 
pilmen are a traditional dish, where they have always been served with clear soup and added dill or other freshly cut herbs. Packed frozen, pelmeni can be found in Russian and Ukrainian food stores, as well as everywhere Russian communities exist. Packets of frozen pelmeni are usually labeled Siberian pelmeni because of the Siberian practice of storing and transporting pelmeni in frozen form. Store-bought pelmeni are made on industrial machinery, much of which is made by Italian companies such as Arienti and Catania, IMA, Ostoni, Zamboni, etc. These pelmeni usually weigh around 15 grams each and look like a larger version of tortellini, which is why, for industrial production, Italian pasta machines are commonly used. Pelmeni are also commonly made at home. The easiest way is simply to make them by hand, many cooks use specialized pelmeni makers, which are essentially molds that resemble muffin pans or ravioli molds, allowing one to quickly make a few dozen pelmeni out of two sheets of dough and a quantity of ground meat. In modern Russian and Ukrainian culture, and also in the Baltic states, Store-bought pelmeni are considered a kind of convenience food and are associated with students' or bachelors' lifestyles, much like instant ramen, etc.